Hey guys, it's Lewis from Mindmount Tech. We're back today after a long break. Uh, today we're going to be building a computer. Just a little background, I'm going to do this video a little bit differently than I've done some of my computer builds in the past. Um, I'm just going to kind of just start on it and I just talk about the pieces I'm going along. Um, a little background about this, my oldest son just turned 21. Uh, he needed a computer upgrade and so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I had some parts, he had some money between the two of us. We cobbled together what he was going to need for one heck of an upgrade. Um, I'll post a link somewhere over here um, to his previous build because we had actually done an upgrade I think about a year or two ago to his current PC and you can kind of see where he's coming from to where he's at and uh, we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's get down to it. We'll start off, um, I'll show you guys the case. All right, so we're going to start off with a case. This is the Corsair 4000D. Um, the first and foremost, what I'm going to tell you about this case is the reason I chose it. It was on sale. I've been kind of buying computer parts here and there, trying to plan the next build. This was on sale, so I bought it. It was about 50% off. So it's got one of these nice magnetic uh, filters on top. It has the uh, glass side panel, tempered glass. We'll take this off real quick. Um, this is kind of interesting. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, it just pops off the front there. How about that? Doesn't slide. I thought maybe it would slide. So, anyways, so you also see that this case comes with two fans: one on the front, one on the back. Um, this worked out because we're doing this on a budget um, so we're going to keep these two fans i am going to move this fan to the front and um, because the goal is with this lip here it'll kind of hide the fans i mean yeah you can see them because there's a glass side but they won't be as noticeable um, i went and got an, <clears throat> a real nice uh, rgb fan for back here um, actually it's just uh it's one of these bits powers so not too bad so that'll go back here we'll move this to the front if i got a third fan laying around i'll probably get that uh, to put in here we'll take the back of this off too kind of explore this case a little bit so far this case is kind of different um because i was kind of looking forward to it um you know i love how it's got the, the kind of the shroud here um, it's got this that pops in and out, so you got a little bit more room. So if you want to put a radiator or whatnot in there, um, you have some more space to do that. That's kind of cool. Um, what else do we have in here? Cool. Uh, the front, this pops off. It looks like it's going to have some decent airflow. Um, this is a magnetic filter also. So that's uh, good to know, good to have. Go around the back. You have some spots for some, for two SS, or not SSDs, yeah, SSDs, blah. Sorry, it's about five in the morning. I worked all night. Um, the cable management, I like this track it's got here. Um, I love this stuff. It's got some bays down here for some platter drives, if that is your, your flavor. And uh, a box of, box of parts. Let's see if we can get this box of parts out of here. But all in all, it's not, uh, not a bad looking system. Now, I don't think we'll be using platter drives. Um, so that can leave some potential down here. Because one of the things I've been noticing is this bay here that these uh platter drives can go into it has thumb screws that hold it in so you can go ahead and remove it so what's really cool about that is if you remove these thumb screws and take this cage out you didn't have all this space um which is really cool if you're going to add um you know wire extensions one of the the things that i you know grown to kind of hate about building 
PCs is just the fact that, you know, you want to get some cool cables for your power supply. You know, maybe you can't, you don't have a, maybe you don't have a modular, so you're going to get those extensions. You have tons of extra wire. This gives you a whole big space to kind of just hide all that. So I dig that. So, so that's our case. Um, that's a part that's ready to go. We'll get that off to the side here and let's see what's in this little box. Probably, probably some of our staple standards here. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, yeah. Now there's some additional uh, tie downs. These Velcro ones that came with it. There's the different screws that come with this. A um, bunch of little zip ties, some standoffs, thumb screws, motherboard screws, the whole nine yards. So that standard issue stuff there. Okay. So got that out of the way. Let's look at our motherboard next. Okay, so our motherboard, um, here it is. Um, so reasons this motherboard was chosen. Um, I got a heck of a deal on it. I had a friend who was gifted this motherboard, didn't have a receipt, couldn't return it. He was trying to sell it. Um, he didn't know what it was worth. Um, we talked, he didn't want to get lowballed. So this was something I got about, again, at 50% off. It's an ROG Strix. Um, Z690A Gaming Wi-Fi um, D4. So uh, let's take a look at this bad boy. And I'll tell you one thing: this is a heavy, heavy son of a gun. Let's set that off this side. Let's see what we got in here. There's all kinds of goodies in here. So here is our Wi-Fi antenna. Then we have all kinds of stuff. Software disc. Uh, the Republic of Gamers, you know, certificate thing. The board, or the, uh, the book for the board. Um, you guys gotta make sure you read that stuff. Uh, looks like we have a, uh, a keychain. There's a keychain. We have some odds and ends screws. Looks like there's a little thermal pad there. Um, some more zip ties, some more thermal pads. I believe these thermal pads are if they have not twos. <clears throat> we have these, which we're probably not going to need, but they're there. And of course, as always, we have the lovely, lovely stickers. Gotta have stickers. So we'll get this stuff back in here. Um, and again, I want to just stress that, you know, when you get a new motherboard, uh, so make sure you take a good look at the book. Um, you never know what you are, aren't going to find, you know, or what you are, aren't going to know. Um, this looks like a pretty nice board. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm sure my kid is going to be ecstatic. Ah, ouch. I'm just all kinds of getting poked by this thing. Uh, the static bag they put this in was a bit of a tight fit. All right, so here is our board. Looks pretty interesting, all kinds of Looks like this will glow. That'll be pretty cool. It looks like there's plenty of cooling. Um, all kinds of stuff on here. Uh, so we'll do a lot of peeling with that. What is this? This is interesting. Ah, oh, some kind of a, uh, what the heck is that? Huh, I'm gonna have to read the book and see what that is. It's Velcro. Looks like it's probably some type of uh, thing to catch wire or to manage cables with. It's kind of weird. I don't know if I dig that. So also on this, it's got um, four spots on it. I believe there is one here, one here, and two down here um, for M.2 slots, or uh, for M.2 drives. We're gonna put two in it. Um, 
I'm going to put one in it initially, and then after I get Windows installed, I'll put the other. The reason for that is they're two identical drives, and you know I want to make sure I'm installing on the right one. I, I want to make it idiot proof. So, <laughs> um, but again, we went on a cheap, so we got some a pair of uh, Boston Digital Blue M.2s. Um, could have gone faster, could have gone better, but like I said, we're working with the budget, so we have that there. Uh, for our RAM, we're getting some T-Force Delta DDR4 gaming RAM. It's 3,600, um, like I said, it's 32 gigs. It's got some, a little bit of flair of the RGB. Got to have that. And then, um, the meat and potatoes of this, other than, you know, obviously the, the motherboard, is this Intel processor. Um, this is an LGA 1700, um, socket. It, um... It's the i5 12600K. So we will be able to do a little bit of overclocking. Um, and with that, we are also going to have a um, an AIO that we're gonna go over here shortly. Um, you know, a cool master. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get some stuff in here. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to install our chip. Now, it's the first time that I've installed one of these new fancy 12th gen chips. So you'll have to bear with me a little bit. But anyways, you have this little clasp here. And, oops. Yeah, it'll pop up like that. <laughs> um, then the next thing you're gonna do is just gonna tilt this back. Now, you probably can't see it too well here, but, um, we have, let me move the slide a little bit, that'll help. Anyways, uh, we have some little things that stick out. And those, if you look on your chip here, if you happen to see, you'll have those little notches here that those sit in. And uh, one side short, one side thicker. And most of the time, these processors are going to face the wording up towards the top of the motherboard. And it just kind of sits in there. Um, like I said, and then you can see those notches fit in those holes. And there, there you're good. So now that you've done that, you'll grab this. Then just kind of pop that in there. So that's good. Then, voila, your chip is installed. So now we got that, let's peel some of this stuff off because, well, it's just kind of bugging me. <laughs> I am excited about some of the uh, flash of this board. I really think my kid's gonna love it. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to read the book to see exactly what this uh, this thing is here. Anyways, let's go ahead and get ready to do our M.2 drive. So the first M.2 drive we're going to put right here. And there's our M.2. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Let me get a better look. I don't know if I care for this. These screws are a bit wonky. They're not really screws. They're supposed to be. There we go. So these are interesting. So the M.2 goes in there. As you can see right here, it just got this little thing and it just spins. And then, poof, it's in there. I guess it's convenient. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Get this back on. So our M.2's in there. So what we're gonna probably end up doing here with this is like I said, our, our main drive's gonna be right here. And probably, um, We'll do something 
down here. Probably put the second one down there. But I, I'm not going to put in right away because I just been my preference when I'm doing a fresh install of windows that I just have the one hard drive to deal with. Um, I found it to be easier and we can do it however you want. Um, that's just what I do. Man, that's going to look neat glowing. I can't wait to see that. Okay, I'm going to put a RAM in next. Um, when I look in the, the uh, motherboard book, it recommends an A2 and a B2 for the RAM slots. Like I said, this RAM, um, again, was a uh, budget deal. Usually it's about a buck eighty-nine for this particular set of RAM. I uh, picked it up for about 130 at a micro center. So that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, make sure your slots are lined up correctly. Uh, you guess you'll notice the theme. We're trying to save money and wherever we could on this. Ah, such a nice click. So it's not the uh, flashiest looking RAM, but I think it'll uh, it'll do the job. You know, one of these days I want to build a build a computer where I have um, where I fill all four slots. That's good. That's kind of a a dream that I have. I know that sounds really funny. So there we go. We're ready to rock and roll there. Uh, got a RAM, hard drive, CPU, cooling. Um, we'll probably look at cooling before we um, put it in the box. Uh, we're going to use an AIO and yeah. So let's see what we got there. Let me show off the AIO. Let me move that out of the way. So for AIO, so what we have is we have a Cooler Master. Um, you know, it's just a dual, dual fan setup. We're just doing the, the CPU. Um, and we'll go from there. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. So we have our fans. And we have these. We got some instructions. What else we got? We got a bunch of hardware. A bunch of hardware. And that looks to be about it. Let's get this bad boy set up. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna work on getting ready to install our cooler. Now we have uh, this bracket here that's going to go on the back uh, behind the motherboard. And then we're gonna screw these nuts in. And uh, once we screw these nuts in, I'll show you how that works here in a second. Uh, those, we'll do these thumb tight. We're gonna go ahead and put this into the case because what I wanna do is try to figure out how I'm going to mount the cooler, where it's going to go. My intention is to put the cooler on top, and uh, but like I said, I'm going to have to play with it. So let's go ahead, get this bracket in there. Okay, so we have our four bolts on there. Um, I did have to take a stick of RAM out to be able to get my, my fat hand in there. Um, something to point out is, uh, you know, with these Asus boards, they have two sets of holes drilled in them side by side. So if you have an older cooler like the, the one I got, um, for the, you know, for this particular socket, you can use one of the older ones because of the, how the holes are placed. Um, you know, some of the other motherboards, you either have to make sure you're getting a compatible cooler for the uh, 1700 socket or that it has a special bracket that you might have to order separately. But like I said, Asus or Asus, however you want to say it, they have it pre-drilled. So you're good to go, even if you have an older cooler, which was really cool about this. Um, so without further ado, let's get this case up here. We'll get our mo board in. 
Let's see what we got. These are always fun to put in. Yep, nice and uh, steady there. There we go, that is in there. All right, we'll go ahead and put our screws in and uh, we'll kind of go for it. I really like the way that this looks in there. That looks really, really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this down in there and then we'll start looking at positioning our cooler. All right, so our motherboard is secured. It's in here. Um, I was playing with the orientation of the cooler some and the cooler I think I'm gonna put on last. Uh, one of the reasons is, you know, if one, I sit on an orientation, it's gonna be somewhat like this, where this is gonna be here, it's gonna be at the top. It's not necessarily the most aesthetically uh, pleasing you know, with the way the, the, the hoses come down, but it fits in there, it gives it a proper loop with no air getting caught in there. Um, and that's what's gonna be important. But also what I've noticed is once I put the, um, the radiator and fans up here, I can't get to some of this stuff. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna put in the power supply. I'm gonna get this whole thing wired up and then I'm going to install the cooling system. Um, and we'll, we'll fire it up and see where we're at. So I'm gonna go through the wiring. Uh, don't know how much of that I'm actually gonna show you. Probably won't be very much. Um, <clears throat> so we'll start off with our power supply. We'll talk about that for a quick minute here. This is our power supply. It's a, uh, it's a Corsair. It's an RM850, 850 watt power supply, <clears throat> 80 plus gold. Um, I've been a fan of the Corsair power supplies. Um, you know, I haven't really had any issues with them. Um, this one is white. Originally, we were going to try to go with like a white theme build, but uh, didn't quite uh, go all white because, well, we come back to the whole budget thing. We're on a budget and uh, trying to keep the cost down. This one just happened to be on sale. Uh, this is full modular. Um, this one I think was like 50 bucks off or something when we, when we bought it. It got up like 100. 130 you know i figured it, what, it's probably retail price is a little bit higher than that what is this here anyways um so here we go it's white it's modular um, one of the other things i like about this is you now the cables are white and you know save the cost on like cable extensions and stuff like this these are actually you know braided so we're gonna go in our bag, we're gonna get these. Um, the top of this motherboard has two places to plug in at the top of it for power. And then we also have our big one. Oh geez, that is just blank. But uh, we got that. So those are the power for our motherboard. Uh, while we're in here, we'll also take out the stuff for our graphics card. Um, so I'll need one of these for the uh, PCI Express. And then if we happen to need them, which we probably aren't, we got all these other extra, you know, cables. And this comes with uh, three of the PCI Expresses if we need them. Um, we're not going to. Um, the card we're eventually going to be plugging into this is... Um, a uh, 3060 um said i it's just a kind of an entry level card still 30 series pretty nice um but i'm i like the asus cards a lot um and these tough ones like i said i'm i used one of these for a, a little while for the past year i liked it um i recently upgraded so this one's getting passed down so I'm actually in my, my personal rig rocking the, uh, the 3080 Ti, which I'm pretty, pretty happy with. Um, but anyways, so what we want to do first here is 
get that off there. I'll check that out later. When you go to put your power supply in, you want to plug this stuff in first because it's kind of hard to kind of stick your hand in there and and plug everything up. So let's go ahead and put the octopus together as I call it. So that's what I think it kind of looks like. All right, so we got our octopus together. So next we're gonna have to discuss um, placement of how this is gonna go into the case. Now there are two ways that this can go into this particular case. Um, when you look at the case here, you know you have ventilation here. You also have the ventilation on the bottom. So when you're putting your power supply in, what you want to keep in mind is the environment that your PC is in. And so what I mean by that is, well, one, you never want to really put your PC on the floor, but if you have to, is their carpet. Um, because it's where the fan is on the power supply, it's going to suck. It's going to draw air in. Then the air is going to come out the back. So what you end up having is, you know, you don't want to have it in carpet. You want to be sucking all that stuff up but it also gives it its own independent air. Um, so personally, I'm a fan of um, putting the power supply. I'm actually gonna take this cage out of here just because I don't care for it. Um, facing down whenever possible because it gives it its own separate air. I make sure it's on a hard surface. I make sure the bottom's clean. Um, you know, if you have pets, you know, you wanna make sure you're, you know, blowing it out pretty frequently, things like that. I still love how easy this cage just came right out. So this, like I said, we're not gonna use this, but I mean, now we got all the space down here. It's pretty, pretty slick. So what I'm gonna do, let's get this in here. Let's start the wiring process. Probably not gonna show you guys a whole bunch of the wiring, but you know, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna get that in there. But anyways, but uh, I got off track. What I personally prefer to do is put the power supply so it's drawing air from the bottom. And uh, the reason for that is it gives it its own separate air intake. It's not sharing anything from inside here. Now it's not wrong to put it so it's facing up and drawing the same air that's from in here. If you got a good, if you got good airflow, it's really not hurting anything. But I personally like to keep it separate. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get this screwed in there. We're going to wire it up, and uh, we're gonna go from there. And uh, when I'm getting ready to put the cooling in, in the video card, we'll go from there. Uh, and then we'll do an install of Windows. All right, guys. So I hope you can't hear the trash truck out there, but there's a trash truck out in the parking lot. So here we are. We are all wired up. I got all the fans wired up. I have, um, <clears throat> you know, this crap wired up. <laughs> like everything's up here. You know, um, my plan is when I take the rad and put the fans on in a minute, but it's going to cover and hide a lot of what's up there. And then the cooler itself will sit here, you know, obviously. And um, we'll be able to run up through here the um, RGB for the cooler. And then right here is for the AOI pump. Blah, a little tongue-tied. Sorry about that. So I'll probably bring that around here. Probably use some zip ties to clean it up. But I'm going to get that installed here. And then we're going to look into putting our video card in here. Um, as far as the video card goes, I'm going to give some uh, full disclosure here. I'm not going to show the installation. I'm going to show the after effect. There's going to be a separate video on the installation for this video card. It's probably going to come out after, or before this video comes out. Uh, the reason for that is I'm going to be using a uh, something to dress the video card up from V1 Tech and I want to do a review on that and that product. So that'll come out, then this video will come out, but like I said, this is going to be a, a full metal theme. So 
Um, you'll have some characters from Full Metal Alchemist that'll be on the card. It should be pretty cool. Anyways, so let's get to this. I'm going to mount the pump, put the fans on, and then put all this in here. Um, I'll push the fan wires through the back there. Um, one of the things I thought that was interesting about this cooling setup is it doesn't come with any thermal paste applied. Um, they actually sent a tube, and I thought that was interesting. So we'll apply thermal paste, we'll get this on there, and uh, we're going to go from there. So, all right guys, I'm going to get this going, and then I'll show you the finished result here in a second. Also guys, um, when you tighten this down, make sure you do an X pattern. Go from here to here to here to there, you know, just in an X, because you want to make sure you keep it even. You want it to get the right pressure. Um, if you've changed a tire before, it's kind of similar to when you change a tire. Get it on there. Just make sure it's tight. Don't over tighten. So next, what I'm gonna do is, while I have this here, I'm gonna feed the RGB wire to the back. I can do an adjustment with that later, but before I put the, the radiator there, I guess I wanna make sure that's in there. So that's there. Then that gives us this rather lengthy um, thing, wire. Uh, we're gonna put it under the pump a little bit there. Under these screws. What I'm gonna end up doing with this is cleaning this up a little bit after the fact. It just goes here, but I'll find a way to route that so that it's um kind of under there a little bit maybe i'll tuck it down in here somewhere but you know i'm gonna this wire like i said i'm i'll figure it out here so, soon and then we'll kind of go from there let's put our ram back in here again i had to take that poor ram out so that i could um you know get my fat hand in there there we go. So again, what we'll end up doing is, like I said, I think this will be pretty decent. You could put it like that. Um, the fans will hide a lot. And then we can kind of slide and adjust this to where we think it's gonna look decent. You know, I really wish, oh, I can't even go farther down there, huh? Cool. Really wish these, uh, I don't know. I think it t looks okay. We're about to find out. Anyways, we'll get that together and we'll, we'll continue on. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna get a good side view of this here in a little bit, but um, AIO's in. Um, I ended up not zip tying this wire to anything. I was able to fold it and kind of tuck it underneath here a little bit. I uh, get it to loop around. I don't think it looks too bad. Um, this did a really nice job of hiding all the wiring that's going to be up top. Uh, I have minimal wiring at the bottom. Next step will be the video card, and then we'll we'll fire this Mamba Jamba up and uh, see what it uh, see what it do.